Mystic of the Sands has uh, asked me to give him my opinion of Peter Singer, the Australian moral philosopher, utilitarian, I believe. Um, interesting sort of fellow uh, with interesting opinions on utilitarianism and interpretations, I suppose. Um, I'm not actually going to respond in this video, but because I want to ruminate on it. It's a lovely day here, and I'm going to go for a bike ride thinking about what he has to say after just reading his wiki blurb, I'm afraid. Uh, but, you know, just get the mind going. Um, and um, uh, the usual objections I bring up to uh, utilitarianism, and everyone knows, by the way, the way, I, the way I examine anything is I look at it, and then I try and look at what the implications are, the backhanded implications of it, what, where it's going to go uh, in certain directions, unintended directions usually. Um, and I can already sort of think, all right, where am I going to go with this guy? Well, an interesting thing about utilitarianism, it's, you know, um, it seems to have, I won't say collateral damage, but it does seem to have sort of loose ends. In other words, the greatest good for the greatest number. Okay, what about the people that are left out of that? Um, do some people have to have their um, their good lessened or their harm increased um, to benefit everybody else? Um, that's an objection, and um, that's what I'm definitely going to be considering there. Secondly, is just the general idea of um, I don't know if you'd call this true world theory, but just the the idea that there is absolute truth out there and that we as humans with our limited faculties can access it. He does seem to think that, that there are things out there, noumena, that can be defined and we can go with those definitions. Again, the usual objection is, okay, we go with those definitions and then we forget that we're just using them axiomatically. But um, more to follow.